before I graduated high school, that was the plan. Was Kevin got accepted to MIT, um, and he's already been given an offer letter by Georgia Power to work for them when he leaves school. And so it's like my path was very clear. I had like the next 10 years blocked off. And, um, but there's this caveat. If you get accepted into MIT, you have to actually physically go there and um, live with a student for two weeks to see what it's like. And so I went. And um, who did you live with? I lived with this with this Asian kid named Du. Um, and uh, and and I came home with the realization of two things. And the first was that I'd be the stupidest person at MIT. Um, and the second was that I'd be the coolest person at MIT. <laughs> And I really wasn't prepared for either of those two realities. Have you ever been the coolest person? I, I've always been pretty cool. I'm kind, of a, I'm kind of a nerd, but I've always been kind of, I've always been that like kid that was a little, like I, I was popular and I was good at sports, but I was also smart. And so I kind of, you know, I didn't really struggle through high school. I don't have the stories of like how I was really awkward in high school. Like, not really, it was fine. Like it was, I don't, I can't really tell you much about it. I don't really remember it that well, but it was fine. Um, and so I came home from this MIT trip with the need to have a, a serious, like, come to Jesus meeting with Kevin. Um, and that's when I, when I just sort of went, oh, right, I've wanted to cook for a living for forever. Meeting I, Kevin and Dad. No, 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 meeting me. Oh. Like, meeting, like, me by myself, like, not telling anyone else. Like, okay. I need to figure this out. Um, and that's when I knew, like, I, I'd always known I wanted to be a chef, but... But frankly, I was I was afraid to be a chef. I was afraid because I, I felt like I would be letting my family down if I did something that um, if I did if I was a chef. I, I felt like my family saw in me this opportunity to go away to this really prestigious school and make this really quote prestigious life for yourself, and then I was worried they wouldn't be proud of me. And but yet at the same time, I, I knew that it was just a it would just be a, a farce, like I didn't really care about it that much. And so I called my parents into my room and I told them that I wasn't gonna go to MIT and I was gonna cook. Um, and, and and this is this is the, the truth, is that I, I'd already packed up a bunch of clothes because I thought I thought they were gonna tell me just to go. Like I just, <laughs> uh, I just assumed that I was going to be letting them down so much that it, that that they were just gonna tell me to like just go ahead and hit the and um, but instead, my mom said something that I, just, I remember so clearly. She said that she was glad that I had realized what I was supposed to do with my life before I had wasted a great deal of it. Oh, and, um, and that was it. And so from that point forward, it was, if I'm gonna do the chef thing, I'm gonna do it like I do everything else, which is I'm not, I'm not a like 50 to 75% guy, like everything is 100%. percent i I'm, it's, it's high or low for me. Like there's no middle ground. And so I don't tell anybody this, by the way. Uh, I lied and told people that I wanted to compete for this scholarship to, because I was like, well, I need money to go to culinary school. But you had to have a certain amount of professional experience that I didn't have, so I just lied and said I did. Um, and then you had to submit a portfolio of your work from the restaurant that you worked at. So I lied and I created a fake restaurant. <laughs> and, um, and then I just created my own menu and I made all the food at home and took pictures of it and sent it to them and was like, this is the food that we made in this restaurant. Somewhere, probably. Well, we have to find um, it. Yeah, that's awesome. And so I sent it in. Or did you submit it to the Small Business Association? Oh, gosh. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, just call the government. Okay? I'm sure they have a copy of it. <laughs> um, and, uh, and so they were like, oh, that seems, no, that's great. Like, you're in. And so then I competed and I, and I won regionally and then I won nationally. And, uh, and I got a full ride to culinary school. So. And where did you go to culinary school? I went to the Art Institute here in Atlanta, you know, um, which was actually a really great school when I went there. I'm glad I stayed in Atlanta. Um, it's funny how many things you come back to years later and you go, I'm glad I did that. At the time, I went to the Art Institute because I needed to find somewhere to go immediately. I didn't have the luxury of being like, I'm just going to shop around all these schools. Like, it was like, no, no, there's one here, and I'm going to go to that one now because I've got to start school tomorrow. So. Um, but it turned out to be a really great experience. That's great.